Now, should you decide to use an external software-based sequencer, such as Steinberg's Cubase or eMagic's Logic, you'll need firstly to make the appropriate MIDI connections, MIDI in and out. Secondly, you'll need to turn the local switch within the XP80 off. Now, as it stands, there is internal communication between the keyboard and sound source, but this communication needs to be broken since that will now be routed through the computer sequencer. So into system, MIDI, look for the local switch and turn that off. Okay, well, without the computer plugged in, there will no longer be any sound generated when you play the keyboard. That's fine. Now, both of those bits of software I mentioned contain patch librarians, and in the librarian, you will be asked for bank select messages to be input. Now, obviously, the XP80 contains much more than 128 patches, so simple MIDI program change commands from the computer will not be enough to access the sounds. If you go to the sound list in patch mode, you'll see at the bottom bank select MSB and LSB. Well, these two MIDI messages need to be input into your patch librarian within the software you happen to be using. Then, from the display, you can call up the relevant patches. You don't have to turn to the XP80 at all. Well, that's just about all we've got time for. The XP80 is a truly wonderful, powerful music production tool, and I hope you have a lot of fun producing music with it. So until next time, goodbye.